De La Wright, my envies. Welcome. The custodian of um, Odua Sacred Forest is said to have called on the Oni of Ife and blamed the Oni of Ife for his decision of letting Yanifa go at this time. That there is so much problems this week that I went deep. And the reason why he did not come out is because there are a lot of things that he needed to do right there in the Sacred Forest. Uh, but because Yanifa was here in Odua Palace, that Oni of Ife should not think that he brought Yanifa from where Yanifa came from that it was the gods that sent Yanifa um, to the palace of the Oni of Ife and the gods sent Yanifa there for a purpose. Now why did he allow Yanifa leave as at the time that Yanifa you know um, left that it wasn't um, okay for Yanifa to have left the way Yanifa left. Now we are hearing that Yanifa left and, you know, she was well celebrated and, you know, people came out in their numbers to bid her goodbye from the palace. That the kind of peace they have enjoyed um, lately in the palace of the Oni of Ife is um, something that is um, celebratable and that... Um, uh, uh, Oni Olife did very well to have brought her. And it, they said when Yanifa was leaving that people were even crying because they wanted her to still stay. And a lot of people were crying because they know that they were thinking Yanifa was going to stay until Nami gets back into the palace before she le leave. But then she had some things to do. She had to go. Now, um, this living did not go well with somebody that is called the custodian of Odua Forest. When the man heard that Yanifa left and they the man was very upset that Oni was making a mistake to have left Yanifa to go at the time. Now, there are this group of people who thought that Yanifa's initial arrangement was to stay until Queen Naomi um, um, get back into the palace. That the fact that Oni even allowed, is allowing Blo Blo back into his life happens to be one of the major problems that Yanifa had to deal with. Yanifa did not like it. Even though Yanifa could not tell the Oni of Ife, even though they sat down, they had a meeting. In that meeting Yanifa agreed. But they said Yanifa agreed because it was almost as if they bent her hand to have agreed. Oni was under a lot of political pressure from what we are hearing that he wanted um, um, uh, to give into Blue Blue returning back to the palace at the time, thinking there would be a way around it to talk to Lori Nami and all of that. But Yanifa saw that that would be his greatest undoing and also cancelled him that worst case scenario issue and uh, bring blow blow down back but blow blow should stay in the Olori's a mansion which was what Oni of Ife did but you do know that he is Oni Risha Yanifa has no right to tell Oni Risha what to do rather is the other way round because Oni Risha had almost um, uh, given in Yanifa did not know what to do Yanifa had to give her give him an option and they say when eventually um, the uh, reconciliation um, was done um, Yanifa Yanifa said that, uh, they said Yanifa said that uh, KBSC should know that if a reconciliation is done physically, it's done spiritually, that there are not two ways about it. Yan, um, and KBSC cannot continue to say that he doesn't want these women to be there. He is frolicking with them and having all of these peaceful things with them. That the same thing that is registered physically is the same thing that is registered spiritually. And if it is registered spiritually, it's hard for him to, for her to make certain things work because they uh, one and they said from that time that blow um, um, uh, blow blow was allowed back um, to Olori's mansion. Uh, typically, it seem uh, it, it's of course um, known that uh, blow blow has been accepted back into the life of the Oni of Ife. They said that did not go well with Yanifa, and they said Yanifa was very unhappy over that, and that was when Yanifa make, made a decision to want to leave and. Oni celebrated her very well. He said they had a get together get for Yanifa. People came out in their numbers in the palace to bid her farewell. Um, people uh, loved her. They gave her a gift, traditional gift, and you know, monies and everything that Yanifa left with. But they said um, Dr. Elizabeth cried so much because she knew something was wrong. But um, then again, uh, we heard um, that uh, the custodian of um, Odua Sacred Forest has called on Oni of Ife to let Oni of Ife know that the um, decision he made to um, send um, uh, 
um, Yanifa out at that time was a completely wrong decision, that he ought not to have made that kind of decision, that Yanifa was not supposed to have gone until Olorinami came into the palace. But unfortunately, before he came up with that resolve to talk to the owner of Ife, Yanifa was already on her flight back to her home uh, country. And uh, this is what is going on if this information is true. Please do not forget this uh, alleged information. I appreciate you guys so much. Happy New Week to you. May God bless you. May God bless you. Thank you so much. These are alleged, uh, rumored, speculated information. And do not forget that whatever you get on social media, I want to take it with a pinch of salt. I appreciate you so much. Thank you.